In today's Men 21 video, I'm going to be showing you kind of an introduction to my defensive guide. This is the defense that we base everything out of. And so uh, that defensive guide is in the description if you want to pick it up. But this is a free blitz. This is the base rush. And I do want to talk about it a little bit because the patch just came out for Men 20. And I want to show you a little bit of an update. And not only to the guide for the guide members, guys that have purchased the Men 20 competitor bundle, but also our Men 21 competitive bundle guide, but also for those of you that are looking for some pressure. I this is one of the best defensive game and basically what you want to do with this is you want to go into your coaching adjustments and you want to turn man on ball and air defense to play ball cornerback matchups you want to put them by speed option defense on conservative tackling aggressive zone drop you want your flats to be at zero your curl flats to be at 20 and your hooks to be at 10. that's basically how i run this defense and then all i'm going to do is i'm going to put my best pass rushers um best pass rusher that I could possibly get uh, my fast guys right in here on the line of scrimmage whoever my fast guys are I got Shaquem Griffin Bruce Irvin and then LJ Collier I think also you can get uh, Taylor but anyways for those of you guys that don't know my name is Cody my channel is entirely devoted to helping you get better at the game and right now we're going to break down a blitz for you from nickel 335 which is one of the best pass defenses in the game just from a coverage perspective we actually wrote a whole entire ebook on it uh, and you can pick that up as it's our Madden 21 competitive bundle guide it's in the description of this video if you want to pick it up um, there's so much more than just this blitz um, but we are going to start with this blitz here and again i upload four times a day here on youtube i live stream every night and so if you really want to take your game to the next level i want to encourage you to consider clicking that subscribe button let's jump into the tip now i like to come out in fs middle three because it's going to stack my linebacker in the middle so i'm going to go fs middle three all i'm going to do is i'm going to auto to cover two man and then i'm going to press coverage shade coverage outside shade coverage over top pinch my defensive line slant them to the left and then drop both of these safeties in purple zones, and you can use your Bobby Wagner. What you'll see here is at the snap of the ball, you are going to get some really, really good disengage pressure at your quarterback. Now, most of the time, the defense, most of the time, uh, the defense will come in uh, on the, uh, the the nose guard. He's going to come. He should come free right up the middle um, or disengage very, very quickly. You'll see here. Um, and, of course, as soon as I turn the video on, they, the, the practice mode starts going crazy because if you run the same uh, pressure setup twice in practice mode for whatever reason, um, it does do a little bit weird. But you will, this will work just fine for you in game. Uh, what you'll see here. Um, and we'll crash to the right here, and then we'll crash it back to the left. But you see, you do get the A-gap pressure. Um, this little stunt, in essence, swap exchange is what I've come to call it um, with this. But literally, um, it's very, very, very effective. Uh, you'll see that here, snap the ball, and I should get that disengaged pressure right up the A-gap. But this is a very simple pressure. Uh, it's a very simple, basic rush. Like I said, a gap is going to come in. Um, the disengage pressure, I feel like when you're in a head-to-head -head game, comes in a lot more than when you're in practice mode. But this specific disengage, you don't want to contain anybody. You just want to run the stunt. Um, it will cons be very, very consistent for you uh, as far as getting pressure. Now, there's some other things that you can do, but basically the idea, the premise of it is you're going to put as many people in the A-gap as possible, and then you are going to basically crash your line uh, to one side or the other, and you're typically going to get this disengage right up the A-gap. There's really not a whole lot they can do to stop this um, other than count on the fact that, you know, it's not going to be super, super consistent. And, you know, I mean, they could block a running back and do all that stuff, all that fun stuff. But what you're going to come to find is slanting the line uh, as a general. There you see, there's the disengage that I'm talking about. That disengage where he's going to block for a second and then he's going to get out of there. Uh, that's what I actually just really, really love about this defense. Uh, you'll see here if you contain, snap the ball, and you're going to see there's that disengage in there. He got a little bit caught up on that nose guard, but you see he wants to come in. Um, and that's just, that's just basically the setup. I love this three, this defense. Um, I will sit in this all the game there because here's re here's reality. You know the pressure is not going to come in every single time, but you have really really good coverage defense. You're running meta the meta man coverage, and guess what? Man coverage just got better because they literally just made it so that you can't um, you can't do certain uh, man switching routes anymore. As you see there, there's that disengage a gap coming right through, coming very, very uh, fairly clean at the quarterback. Again, you're going to get about, you know, he's going to have about 2.5 seconds, maybe two to two and a half seconds to throw with this base rush here. But I find this base rush to be fairly consistent. If you don't get a, if you don't get a uh, disengage animation, you're going to get some type of shed. 
But in practice mode, I find it being a little bit finicky as far as blitzes go this year. Um, it's kind of hard. To, it's hard to – there you see there's the A-get pressure coming in. Um, it's kind of hard to run the same setup over and over again in practice mode and expect the same result, uh, at least in my opinion from a blitzing standpoint, because the offensive line just basically adapts to what you're doing, at least in practice mode it adapts. But um, if you switch it up every now and then, you're going to see the pressure is going to come in just fine. So, again, that's nickel three through five. The setup will be in the description. Let me go over it one more time. But literally all I'm going to do is I'm going to man line press coverage, shake coverage outside, shake coverage over top, pinch my defensive line, crash them to the left, and then I'm going to take both of my safeties and I'm going to put them in zones. And at the snap of the ball, you're going to see you're going to get these disengage animations now if you for whatever reason don't get it i'm going to give you another setup it's literally you change one thing and you're going to see it's going to work it, it's going to work um it's going to work multiple different ways but if you're if for whatever reason this version is not coming in try this version literally you're going to do everything the same the only difference is you're going to crash your line to the right instead of crashing your line to the left and on the snap of the ball, you're going to see here, a gap is going to come completely clean. It has to do with how practice mode is picking up the pressure. When you go into game mode, I find this to work more by slanting it to the strong side, to the left side. So, anyways, guys, that's a nickel 335 base rush. I believe this is one of the best defenses in the game. If you want to go a little bit deeper with the nickel 335, we have really, really solid pressure setups in our de defensive ebook. We're getting ready to add more. We also have good run defense from that. So if you want to pick that competitive bundle guide up, you certainly can. A link is in the description of this video. And while I have you here, I do want to let you know if you haven't already, be sure to join our Discord. It's a community of people that come together that talk Madden 24-7. So if you have not already taken that step, if you haven't already joined that community, what are you waiting on? I mean, you are the average of the five people that you associate with most. If you really, truly want to get better at Madden, there's two things I want to encourage you to do. First and foremost, watch my YouTube channel. Watch other, other people's YouTube channels. So watch people to get ideas of things that you should do. Second thing that you can do is 100% free, join the Discord. Because, again, you're the average of the five people you associate with, more, with most. If you associate yourself with better Madden players, you're by nature going to become a better Madden player. So thanks for watching this video, guys. We will see you on tonight's live stream right here on our YouTube channel.